everyone dreams of an interactive chat. Well, I mean, maybe not everyone, but if you're someone that's trying to stream on Twitch or Mixer or any platform, you dream of having a chat that responds back to you, that will spam poggers or lull when you tell an absolute corker of a joke. I'm Nice Nater, hello, and I have been streaming on Twitch for the past five years. I stream six days a week, 35 hours, and uh, that's a lot of time to fill. That's a lot of potentially very awkward dead space. And I feel like over the last five years, I've managed to get pretty good at talking <laughs> I'm fortunate enough to be a full-time streamer, and this has been my career for the past four years. So I get a lot of questions about how to, how to Twitch, how to do everything from hardware and software to building a community and you know just managing to make ends meet managing to help grow on a platform that is so oversaturated with so many humans so today i figured i'd give you uh some some unsugar-coated tips and tricks uh things that really work for me and hopefully will work for you too the cheat sheet on how to entertain a community and stop loads of awkward dead space first and foremost i think something that a lot of people forget is that if you are on twitch if you're streaming you are the entertainer you are the entertainment people have decided to not watch netflix to not watch tv because they want to watch you I think a lot of people go wrong in thinking that, you know, I'll just turn on the stream and I'll game. It'll be fine. It'll come naturally. When in reality, yes, it may come naturally. But ultimately, what you're doing is entertaining people. So you need to turn up prepared and ready to go. And what I mean by that is note down things that you've seen in the day. Feel free to physically note them down or just mentally note them down if you've got a good memory. Things that you see on social media that pique your interest, things that you remember, anecdotes. Anecdotes are bloody wonderful. Think about things that you've done today, in the last week, in the last month, in the last 10 years. Anecdotes are fantastic. Try and weave them into conversations and just have them as backups. The main thing that these talking points, anecdotes and all of that jazz help is by just letting you calm yourself down. Don't get yourself into a panic. Don't do it. You know that you've got these topics ready to hand so you're good, you've got your tools, you've got your equipment, you're good to go, it's absolutely fine. And you can naturally weave these into conversations when the game is at a bit of a lull. When the game is not at a bit of a lull and you can kind of narrate what's going on on stream or, you know, talk about the game, do that as well, do that as well. I personally find a really good combination of, you know, probably about 30 to 40% talking about the game and, you know, the rest of the time talking about anecdotes and singing and, all of that random other shit that happens in stream is tends to be that tends to be the golden ratio for me but it really depends what game you're playing i play a game called old school runescape and i've been playing that for 15 years most of the time i don't need to talk about what i'm doing because everyone knows what i'm doing i've done it every stream for the last however long but if you're playing a new game which you you know the whole audience is new to or you just want to you want to talk about that a bit more that is completely understandable you want to change that ratio talk less about real life, talk less about anecdotes, and talk more about the game. Work out what feels right for you, but if you are someone that plays the same game every single stream, something like Overwatch or Apex or Fortnite, you probably won't have too much to talk about about what you're actually doing without it being a little bit dull, because people will be like, well, yeah, we can see. It's... Um, but what people do want is they want to learn about you. People primarily come to Twitch because they want to build a relationship and a rapport with other human beings. They want that, they want that contact. So talk about yourself. It's absolutely fine. Talk about yourself ask people about themselves. Um, one thing I would suggest is those conversation starters when someone joins your stream, try and vary them as much as you possibly can because every single stream out there is saying, hi, how are you? If you can start to kind of vary those ever so slightly every now and again, it'll keep things fresh because if someone new does join your stream and you can ask them something slightly weirder, it will catch their attention. You have such a short space of time between when someone joins your chat and they decide whether they like you or not and whether they want to leave or not. It's probably like less than 30 seconds. People make judgments so, so quickly. So you need to grab the attention immediately. So if you can do that by asking a slightly weirder question, then go for it. Do it. Go for it. It's absolutely fine. I mean, don't go for like, you know, 2007 random XD scene kid don't 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 be like hey how do you like your fridge doors don't do something like that but do something that's like you know a little bit more a little bit more to it a question that perhaps you know is a little bit a little bit 
a little bit different than how are you. Nothing wrong with that. I ask people how they are all the time, but if you can kind of vary it every ever so slightly, it keeps you sane as the streamer because you won't have to keep saying the same question over and over again, but also it, it, it gets people in, interested. It gets people intrigued. Some people have really high energy streams and some people have calmer streams with more silences. And the thing is, silences aren't bad. I'd much rather be in a, si in a stream where someone pauses between their sentences than someone frantically trying to fill every single pause and it just seems really unnatural. I think you as a person, you as a streamer, find out what works for you. I personally have some streams where they are just super high energy and all over the place and then some streams where it's just a little bit quieter. But you know, you find your rhythms, you find your patterns, you find what works for you. So try out a few things, see what makes you feel more comfortable. One thing you have to do as a streamer is be pretty fast thinking. You've got to work with what you've got. So if someone comes into stream and offers up a really interesting conversation, go with it. Go with it. If someone requests a song that's an absolute bop, enjoy the song. Sing along to it. It's absolutely fine. It gives you a bit of time to just relax, you know. If you want to get up and dance, if you want to do something that is visually entertaining, but not necessarily you talking, that's also absolutely fine. Ultimately, this all comes down to being an entertainer. It comes down to keeping people entertained. So as long as you're doing something that is engaging, then you're all good. You're all gravy. But also, just to remind you, stay true to you. I mean, don't just start getting up and doing like handstands because you're like, oh God, oh God, the viewers are dropping. Don't, it might be a bit weird. You never know, it might work for you. I mean, you do you, boo boo. Conversation starters are also great as well. Ask people prompts, you know, ask people questions was a fan of pineapple on pizza, etc, etc. Um, I would steer clear of most controversial topics like religion and politics, but also at the same time, they can be great conversations and can be really engaging. So as long as you can mediate and as long as you can be responsible as a streamer and talk about them, then you're probably good. But if they make you uncomfortable, then you set your own limits. I think one thing I've noticed is a lot of people um, they they go off other people's streams. They put they make rules based on other people's streams. You know, ah, oh, lyric doesn't like this, so I don't like this. You know, it's find out what's comfortable for you. As long as it's within terms of service, then you're all good. Going off of that, I would also say um, banning people is not a good shout either. Uh, now, hear me out here. Hear me out. Okay, I know a lot of streamers, mainly small streamers, that ban people like that. You know, someone will come in and go, "You're bad at the game," and they'll go, "Right, banned." see ya. And it's not necessarily a good thing. In fact, I'd say it's a terrible thing. Don't do that. It's really bad. It's really bad. Um, I understand you don't want to be insulted, but at the same time, these are, these are humans that could stay in your stream. They are going to boost your view account. And not apart from that, apart from that, you can convert them. <laughs> Obviously, if someone comes in and they are saying racist whatevers, if someone is genuinely crossing the line, then do what you got to do get rid of them. But if someone is just coming in and saying something that I would deem as harmless, like, oh, you're fat, you got a tooth gap, you're bad at this game, then bounce off of it. I realise that not everyone can do this, and that's totally fine, but if you can, then it is good and it works, I promise you. I personally decided very early on in my stream that if people are going to troll me about my appearance, about anything like that, I will sass them right back, and I will sit them down, and I will make content out of them and trust me it is some of the most entertaining stuff i do on my stream people love it they love to see it and i love to do it because it's free content it's great it means that i can just you know i can i can i can get something out of it a lot of the people that are regulars in my stream now originally came from being trolls i know it's bizarre but a lot of people on twitch they just they don't think they don't know that you're an actual human being and you've got likable qualities and I know that is so stupid because they should but people need to see that people can become desensitized on the internet and that is not me condoning it by any means but I have had so many people come into my stream and go oh my god you've got the London look they're talking about my tooth gap and I've just gone yes I have. Would you like it in an emote form? Because one of my emotes is a tooth gap emote. It's something that I've taken and I've owned. And because of that, so many people have gone, oh, she's got a sense of humor. Okay, all right, I'll stick around. If I'd have just banned those, I would have no viewers now. Because most of them 
have converted. And the other thing is, when people see you making comedy out of these situations, they see more about you as a person, they see what you can handle, and they can see that, you know, there's something about you. So it encourages other people to stick around and enjoy your stream. Um, now, once again, this all goes down to what you are comfortable with, but just be careful. Don't just go banning people instantly. I know so many streams that do it, and because of that, people are terrified to speak out. And I can't clarify this enough. If people are genuinely saying something that is not okay, then it's fine to get rid of them. It's fine to time them out. It's fine to ban them. But I'm talking about the really gentle stuff. The stuff like, in my opinion, that I don't think is, is very upsetting. You know, if you've got thick enough skin, you can handle it. But, you know, it's up to you. I just don't think you should ban people that easily because they could be viewers. They could be keeping the conversation flowing. The one peace of mind I can truly give you is by saying that the larger your audience becomes and the more time goes on, the better you will be at this and the easier this will be because audiences bring their own sources of conversation. The more you go on, the bigger your audience gets, the more you have to work off of. And um, not everyone, not everyone is an entertainer. Not everyone can handle it. And it's okay if you can't, it's totally okay. You will get better the more you go on, but I would say at the end of the day, make sure you are writing down conversation prompts, you're thinking of things in the day, so you go to stream feeling confident that you can keep that conversation running. And if you can't, that's okay. Practice makes perfect. I hope that this was helpful to you, and um, if you guys wanna come check out my own stream, you can do it at twitch.tv slash nightinator. Alongside that, please put your questions down below in the comments, things that you want to know about streaming, everything behind the scenes. You know, if you wanna know about specific stuff, that's absolutely fine. I want to start doing these videos weekly as much as possible to try and give you guys the genuine, no shit, non-sugar-coated versions of how to do things and all of that jazz. If you've got hardware queries, software queries, or just general queries on like, you know, how to do your taxes as a streamer, you know, how to deal with trolls, how to do this, how to do that, just chuck them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff, do all those things, um, and I will see you guys, hopefully, in the next video because I'm going to start doing videos again. Woohoo! See you later, guys.